Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett with HardyCP.com and today guys what we're going to be doing is putting together the Corsair T1 race gaming chair and uh, we're going to time it, show you how it comes out of the box, show you all the good stuff. Here's what it has to say about it. The Corsair T1 race gaming chair features a steel skeleton with a dense foam cushion providing strength, durability, and comfort for years to come. The 4D movement armrest with 3D texture add variable armrest positions and additional comfort. comfort. Nylon caster roller blade wheels provide smooth movement on hard surfaces and protects your floors from scratches. So that's a good thing. So uh, let me get out of the way and Let's get the box opened up. We're going to start our timer. As usual, I'm not mic'd up. All right. Good, get a good bit of closed cell foam padding there. Back of our chair is right here. Comes out easily. Of course, we want black and red. A little padding. We have our base. More padding. Seat bottom. Have a lumbar support. Have a head support. I assume that's the casters. And we have our manual and a rocker mechanism. Right, we got all that done. Got everything unpackaged. Take a look at our instructions real quick. T1 race introduction, seat back, seat cushion, seat control base, chair base, gas lift cover, seat back mount covers times four. Yes, we do. Chair wheels times five. Allen key mounting screws. Got it good. All right. So, as you might guess, this isn't exactly rocket science, but we will get this going in order of the directions. So, first and foremost, we have our base. It is pretty, it is fairly heavy, and it is made of plastic. So, I know some of you guys don't like that. I don't really either. This chair is $350. Uh, so while the base is plastic, we've seen those fail before. We do have exceptionally nice casters, which are, uh, they call them roller blade type casters. Some of you kids probably don't know what roller blades are. I'd insert it easily. There we go. All five of those, base on the ground. 
put in our gas lift. It's a nice looking gas lift. Falls in there. Got a considerable amount of distance between there and the floor, which is good as we've seen that kind of screw up in the past. Put our cover on. Place the chair base assembly to the side. I'm going to put that right there. Let's see. We got contact with all five wheels. Moves good. Let's rattle a little bit. That's to be expected, I think. Chair seat assembly. Let's see. This is pretty heavy. Let's look at the construction here on the bottom. Looks pretty nice. We've got heavy nylon strapping. All steel. Our arms are already put on. That's nice. I'll save us a little bit of time. Let's see. Remove the four screws from the seat cushion bottom. Okay. Chair back to seat assembly. So we put that all together before we put it on. This is the first time I've seen it done in this way. Oh, so let's see, that didn't seem right without putting the mechanism on first. Okay. Remove the four screws that Allen Key provided. The control base is labeled with an arrow showing the front of the unit that needs to be installed facing the front of the chair. Front of the chair is on this side. It says front, big arrow, can't miss it. Okay, so we screwed all this down until the lock washer's flattened out. Front of the chair's there. Four screws, attach base, done, done, done. Attach the seat back, which this seems a little low. Personally, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. It says instructions. Now it says to flip the chair over and attach the seat back. But the problem with that is, is now you've got this big tensioner spring sticking out the bottom of the chair and it's gonna be rocking all over the place. So I think we would do better going ahead and set the chair base back here and then working around that way. I don't see any reason why that should cause us any difficulties. So here we go. Here we go. Give us a better area to work with here. So chair pre-threaded here. Those are tight, so we need to tool to loosen those up. All right, so we got all of our uh, Screws out, we put her back on. Obviously, don't lift that handle while you're dicking around with this, it'll chop your finger off. We don't want that. This says uh, flame resistant. So, I guess we can uh, smoke all we want. All right. It kind of looks kind of like it. it's not supposed to be that way. See this right here? This kind of looks uh, wonky to me. We'll see how it all goes back together. Uh, let me get that chair out of the way. All right. So that's easy as pie. We'll start with this one over here since they have resistance on them and it'll hold the others up.
All right. So where are we at here? I assume we only have a little bit to do. Chairs on. Snap the chair back covers into place over the attachment points between the seat cushion and the seat back. This one's got one indention, it's got one clip here. It's okay, well that was hanging off previously. That sucked it all back in there and it didn't, didn't look all catty wumps. Alright, same thing here. Hmm, that's not right. Okay, two indents on this side. There we go. So I guess we just get an extra set. I mean, it said in the manual we get four of these. I'm not sure why, unless I'm just totally missing something here. So there we go. We're gonna call that completely fabricated so let's see what our time is here okay guys total build time 22 minutes 42 seconds and I can tell you right now it moves around really nice it's really quiet goes the direction you point it the, uh, the grippy wheels throw it a little bit off at first once they kick around but I can tell you right now, I'm six foot even. I weigh about 240 pounds today. And this chair is just way too small for my fat ass. I'm, I got hips out over the back over here. I'm not fitting in between the bolsters. And I mean, if um, hey, this is really, really tight on me. So we'll see how it conforms in the next few days. Um, Initially, it builds good. I don't get any, I don't have any wobble. I can lay back one day. Holy crap, you can, you can lay way back. <laughs> Ooh, thought I was gonna eat it. I mean, I didn't. Um, adjustable handles. We got a little, uh, some texturing on them, some polyurethane. Got kind of a Qbert pattern on them, forward and back. Let's see, there it is. Adjustment here, adjustment there, up and down. I assume there's another button right here. Okay, this is this is back and forth. This one's around. Up and down. Ah, slide, see there? Slide side to side. So obviously I want to open those up as far as possible for my fat ass. And uh, make it feel a little bit better. Huh. Yeah. It's tight. I mean, as far as these chairs are race inspired chairs, right? And I don't know how many you've ever sat in a race car, but. I mean, you generally, you have appropriate seat bolsters in this. You have the neck pillow that goes through here. That could probably work out well. The lumbar in this chair feels really good already. So I may not need a... And the lumbar pad they have here is fairly sizable, right? That's, that's pretty big. I don't know if I'm going to need that. It supports well. It's just, I don't think I'm too fat for it. So anyway, that's Kyle Bennett, our build times, 22 minutes, 42 seconds. Everything was correct in the box. And um, this is Kyle Bennett with Hardo CP.